Hey guys, what's up? It's Jarek Huber, and in this video, we have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. In here should be a new lubricant called Cubicle Labs Mystic. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so in here we get the lubricant and then just the receipt. Okay, so in the package we get the lubricant itself and the card with some information. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It says, we proudly present Cubicle Labs Mystic smoothness you can see, feel, and hear. Mystic is an upcoming lube with a unique blend of speed and smoothness. Unlike other lubes on the market, Mystic is plant-based and takes advantage of the unique lubricity uh, of aloe to provide a lively and super comfortable experience. The enclosed lube is a near production version of Mystic. The final product may differ in appearance. And then the disclaimer to not eat it or set it on fire. Okay, so here is the lube. It has this very uh, mystical appearance, should I say. So this color that's on the outside is actually the color of the lube, which is pretty interesting. So it's just got some tape around it. So I'm sure that, you know, they're, they're not done with the actual like uh, uh, sticker that goes around the outside with the logo for it and everything. But the lube itself looks like it's pretty much done. So as you guys saw on the card, this is basically supposed to make cubes very smooth and fast at the same time. So kind of combining what DNM and Lubical Silk does, because Lubical Silk is good at making cubes smooth, but it also slows them down quite a bit. And DNM is just really good at making cubes fast. Uh, so this is supposed to kind of be a mix of the two. I've never seen a lube that has any sort of consistency like this or look like this though. So this is going to be very interesting to try out. From what I've heard from the cubicle, it's supposed to make cubes glide really smoothly. So we'll go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and test it on this um, GTS3 here that's completely stock. This isn't my main GTS3. This is just a stock one that hasn't really been set up that much. Uh, and it's pretty crunchy and everything. So I want to see if maybe this could help smooth things out a little bit. Um, so let's just go ahead and try it out and see what happens. Uh, we'll just give it a shot here. So it doesn't say how much to apply, but I'm just going to go ahead and start with, you know, two drops or just, I don't even know if you can do drops with this. Maybe you can. Uh, it looks like that's just an air bubble though. So yeah, kind of. It's got a very interesting consistency. Let's just put two kind of little droplets in there. Um, yeah, but you can see the very strange color. It's it's really weird. We'll see how it looks when it's kind of all blended in with the cube. But let's go ahead and mix it up and just blend it in. Wow, I'm already noticing a massive improvement in speed. Like, it is way, way faster. Um, oh my gosh, that's pretty incredible. So, looking inside the cube now, it's totally not visible at all anymore. I don't know where the heck I put it in, but I don't see it anymore. I actually can see like really tiny little specks of like glitter almost. It's not really quite glitter, but if you take a really close look at this bottle, you can almost see these like tiny little specks in there and that's kind of what i can see on the inside of the cube just a little bit yeah i think this does a really good job at making the cube way faster and i also do notice the smoothness the cube doesn't really feel quite as rough anymore uh, which i think is exactly kind of what the point of the lube is supposed to do i'm going to go ahead and drop some in this brand new waylong wrm as well uh, this is a cube that i just unboxed not too long ago and it's basically doesn't have any lube in it at all. Um, and it feels really sandy right now. So, um, but overall the turning itself, when you're just like moving a single layer is quite smooth. So I want to see if, um, this lube will kind of smooth out the feeling when I'm turning quickly where it feels more sandy because there's not much lube in there. Um, the speed is, I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how much it improves the speed, but let's just give this a shot. We'll just kind of drop a little segment in there. That's, uh, here, I want to get some on the piece as well. We'll put some in there. Okay, so let's see how that does. Wow. <laughs> uh, and just like that, the sandy feeling of this cube is basically gone. That is pretty amazing. That, um... This, this is, I'm really noticing that gliding feeling in this cube with the, with this lube. The turning just feels, um, 
more, almost more fluid now, even though it's not, you know, really changing the performance all of that much. Um, just the overall impression of the cube is, you know, gets changed with the lube that you use. Yeah, once again, this cube feels really glidey now. It feels really smooth and it's super fast. So overall, I'm very impressed with this stuff right off the bat. Um, it's it's a very unique lube, um, but I think it's gonna work really well for a lot of different cubes. I guess we might as well try it on uh, something other than a three x three as well. Uh, let's see, what can we do? All right, here's a bit of a different one. Let's go ahead and try it on a square one and see how it does. This is my main square one and it's totally stock. Um, so let's just see how uh, this improves the square one. Something I, I do wish is that the top and bottom layers were a bit more smooth. Um, the slice is fine, but yeah, I mean, this doesn't have magnets or anything in it. So that's another you know reason why it wouldn't be that smooth. But let's see, I don't think I've ever really lubed a square one before, so I'm not sure how to do this. Uh, I guess we'll just create a little gap like right there and just drop some in there. There we go. Um, oh, wow, that just totally got all sucked back in. There we go. Okay, that's quite a bit, so... Hopefully we can actually get that on the inside of the cube a bit. That was probably way too much. Okay, so I definitely put too much in because this is totally leaking out onto my hands now. Um, but I think I'm just going to need to break it in a bit more. Um, yeah, that's definitely a noticeable improvement in the turning for the square one as well. The top and bottom layers especially uh, are quite a bit, they're, they're a bit slower now, but... Um, definitely more smooth. I think it's just because I put way too much in. So this is definitely something you probably would just want to apply, um, you know, very carefully and not to use too much. Uh, but one thing that's really nice is that it works in really quickly and it takes effect super fast. So this would probably be a really good lube to like bring to a competition. Uh, if you're about to go up to compete and one of your cubes is just not feeling that great at the moment, drop a little bit of this stuff in there and it'll be feeling great. Um, and it doesn't, you don't really have to break it in after that. Just, just drop it in there right before you go up to compete and you'll be fine. So overall, I think that this, uh, Cubicle Labs Mystic Lube is a great addition to the Cubicle's lineup of lubricants. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this stuff. It's not out right now and I really don't know when it's going to come out or how much it's going to cost, but I'll definitely be sure to update the description when it does come out. Anyways though, that's about it for this little review of this, uh, Cubicle Labs Mystic Lube. Thanks of course to the Cubicle for sending me this lubricant for free and for sponsoring the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.